Hello everyone, welcome to Pikmin 4. So uh, I played the demo for this a while ago and the save data for the demo does import, but uh, I think I'm gonna restart just because I wanna re-familiarize myself with the controls and uh, any story or anything that we had going on. So I did import my save data, but uh, well, we should be able to go through it pretty quickly, the stuff that I did in the demo, so. Rescue shipwrecked castaways on an uncharted planet with the help of Pikmin in this epic adventure. Game progress is saved automatically. That'll appear in the corner. There's one player. Yeah, I'm not gonna have my wife throw rocks at my enemies, but yeah, we'll try to get through this really quickly so we can get to the new stuff, but I definitely, with all the new controls and me just coming off Pikmin 2, um, I wanted to make sure that I didn't get the conf controls confused and forget things and stuff. I think a refresher's needed. But finally, my uh, playing basically the entire Pikmin series is going to be finished with this one. At least all the ones that are released. <clears throat> I actually haven't played Hey You Pikmin, so... <laughs> the, the DS one, 3DS, so... There we go. Where <laughs> This is actually interesting with extra context for me. So cool that we get to be in a house. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> it's so exciting. Cool. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Hello, friends. Wait, where are you running off to? Yep, they're running over to the plant pots. Hey, Red Pikmin! And climbing on the pillows. And doing everything else. Bam. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. All right, move ahead, look around, move. So we have our rescue pup here. Well, it's not a rescue pup yet, but this is Olimar's version. Um, so it's actually interesting seeing the context for that stuff because I've heard some people mention that they think this might be a reboot of like the entire Pikmin franchise because this is kind of retreading the same ground Olimar's already tread before. Um, because I remember I was confused when I played the demo because I was like, wait, are we getting a recap of Pikmin 1? 
But no, it's the same events of Pikmin 1 just happening in a different way. I saw some of the Pikmin head this way. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. I just need to press X and hold it down, then take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let go and let her rush. There you go. But, uh, yeah, I remember, so it was basically a, like, retelling of the events of Pikmin 1, it seems, because Olimar in that little thing was acting like he had never met Pikmin before, and his ship broke again. So, I'm guessing this is, like, kind of a soft reboot for the franchise? Because why else would Olimar not know what the Pikmin are? And he didn't find a rescue pup on his first adventure here. He specifically did not. So... I, I think this is kind of a soft reboot. I think it is. Now I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. Because, yeah, I mean, it would be weird for him to be like, uh, the water Pikmin. And also for the same thing that happened to him twice. <laughs> Just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm, I'd better make a note of this in my voyage log. Record and log. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now how to phrase it. Yeah, the little, little tablet that we have. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the Onion and immediately hid. Can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and call them back using my whistle. Need to find my missing ship parts, but it'll be much easier if I have my Pikmin to help me. Alright, cool. So, uh, let's just run around and, uh, collect my Pikmin. So if I remember correctly, this, this area is fairly linear. Um, you basically just collect a few Pikmin, and then we're, we're pretty much done here. We got some yellows. I knew I'd find you here. Don't look before you leap. No, I gotta. I gotta look before I leap. So, bunch of Pikmin hanging out here. Now, imagine just, like, rushing a lot will be good for getting, um... Whoop. For getting uh, to places quickly, since I can carry my Pikmin with me. Um, come on, get up here. There we go. So yeah, I remember I definitely didn't collect like all the Pikmin last time in this area. Oh, let's get them down with a rush. Oh yeah, the, the pillow. I think there's some Pikmin on top of it. Boom. Yeah, they're, they were up there. Okay, and then there's some blues hiding under here. So what's the max amount I can have? Oh god, I currently have 44. Okay. I know this is different than, you know, other Pikmin games where our max is always 100. Okay, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose. Track down one of those ship parts, girl. We need the stale nuts scent. So I believe I've collected enough Pikmin now to just move ahead. Like I said, this is a pretty linear little opening area. So there's more Pikmin I can collect, but I don't really need to. Cause, yeah, there's some blues in there. And um, I believe if I go over here, yeah, I can jump up there and get some things. So let's hop up here. Made it to the top. I'll look around with right stick. There you go. So you can kind of zoom the camera out a little bit. And yeah, I think there's a few more over here, and then we're pretty much done. They're hiding here too. You can't hide from me. Gotcha. Aha, found you. But yeah, I don't know why they're hiding. That is odd, I will say. So yeah, it looks like we can go over there. I have plenty of Pikmin now. But where are those ship parts? Yeah, okay, so now it's telling me just go ahead with it, because I have 76 Pikmin. Alright, so let's just let's just follow uh, what it wants me to follow here. So, here are more. Don't know what- I, do I want to know what's up there? I think in the demo I actually looked ahead and saw it, yeah, so it's this thingy. Hello. How are you, you weird little armadillo looking thing? A creature. I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I'll have to find an opening. 
Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. Alright, so... Charge up my dash because I can hold on to it. There we go. Ow. Come on, all of you. Uh-huh. Hiya! Get it, my babies! Yes, this is going to work. Sure did. I murdered it. Hey, it's the analog computer. Or interstellar radio. I think I called it the analog computer last time too, but no, that's one of the items you pick up in Pikmin 1, so. The interstellar radio, we located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Yay. So yeah, this does seem like it's kind of retelling the story, which is interesting. I'm down for a soft reboot of the Pikmin franchise, especially if it means we get more Pikmin games. So. Pikmin is a fun series. Just after coming off of Pikmin 2, which was like sadism incarnate, because I had never finished that game before. God. It's gonna be nice coming to this. So there we go. Olimar's calling an SOS. The beep, not the OQ. Good old Rescue Corps coming to save Olimar. Apparently PNF 404 is really hard to just naturally land on. Me? There we go. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and, uh... So basically, the, the gist with this game is that, uh, yeah, you get to create your own character, which is cool. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding and dispersed rescue corps is your top priority. Create your idea badge and deploy immediately. Alright, so, uh, let's create our character here. So, um... I think I went with, like... This... And... Definitely the Louie shape. And then, uh, where are my eyes? That! Yeah, 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 I remember that. And then, what kind of hair did I go for? I think I- I think I went that. Yeah, and then blonde... And then purple suit. Yeah, that was me. That was me, right there. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Okay, and my name is... That's fine. I have to put a Z on Switch because apparently somebody already had Quasimofo with an S, so... Uh, sure. We're back to- we're back to ourself. Rescue Corps' newest officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. Look at me. That does look like me. I am tall and lanky, so... Well, kinda muscular now since the gym, but... Ah, what a good start. What a good start. This is gonna be a fun game. God, I'm so excited. I know a lot of my friends are very, very excited for this, so... Pikmin's a great franchise. Love it. It's just so unique. <clears throat> There's not many similar games. All I can think of really is, like, Overlord and, of course, like, you know, like, Tinykins and The Wild at Heart and things like that, but... Those are smaller indie games that most people don't know about. My own puppy!
Ochi. This young, uh, this young loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. Oh, it's our first day together. I found the rescue pup. Only uh, six more people to go. You encountered the rescue corps' rescue pup, Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. So, I remember Ochi is trying to tell you something. Um, I remember something a little bit confusing um, about when I played the demo. Um, hey, friend. Nice hair. Found someone in need of rescuing. That, uh, that I did. Alright. So, can you begin a rescue operations at once? Send. So, one one of the things that um, th confused me about the demo, well, when you're when you're with Olimar, you can actually ride your rescue pup, um, and it controls a little bit differently. Um, Ochi does not quite control like the one we had just a few seconds ago. All the dirt has been removed. Ochi controls a little bit differently. Like I I can still hold I can still do the charge, but. I don't have to jump before I do it. I just hold the button down and Ochi just does it because I can't actually get on Ochi's back because Ochi is too small. So I remember being confused by that in the demo because I was like, wait, why do you control differently? But yeah. Uh huh. Is that you, Ochi? Thank the stars. I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me. Together? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the Rescue Corps. The Rescue Corps is comms operator. He handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus he's handy with a wrench. You should play Bioshock. I hear being handy with a wrench is useful in that game. Met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps' comms operator. There's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? Look at that. See, we're already two-sevenths of the way through the game. Easy. This is going to be a quick playthrough. Hello. My path got cut off by a long, la small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Quasimofo, isn't it? Yeah. Weird name. I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, well... It was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Oh no! Oh yes, I spent days sleeping out here in the rough. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. Hey. And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Why? Tap up on the left side there to open to review your missions. Cool. There I am. Uchi. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. Hello? For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press in uh, select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Cool. Now then, let's find the SS Shepherd. So, um, mentioned, let's see. This shortcut settings. So I can change what I want to be here. ID badges, histories, and stats. Look ahead. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, I gotta press back to do that. Alrighty. So, we have our friend. Now. I don't believe you work as, like, a second captain, how you would in the other games. So, maybe we don't have Pikmin yet for it to matter, so. There she is. The SS Shepard. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. <clears throat> Will do. God, the game looks so nice, too. Plants on this planet are gigantic. I, once again, always make sure the area is safe with the red stick. Yeah, it's safe. I know it's safe. Don't worry about it. Hello. Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? If 
only we could find a way there, then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. Yep. It's impossible to get over the ledge. There's something under that dirt. Yep. Go get it, Oshi. This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Good pup, Oshi. You're making easy work of all that dirt. Almost there. There we go. Love the sound that makes pop. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh, this looks like just the other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi. Good. Connects over there. I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. Looks pretty deep. We're just gonna have to dive right in. For real? The rescue officer must act with courage in the face of any danger. Though it does look pretty dark down there. What are these things exactly? Before we had like, you know, caves, but... They kind of remind me of like the, the termite things that you get installed at your house. But let's go ahead and hop in. Ah. Burrow of Beginnings, sub-level one. God. That's scary to see after coming off of Pikmin 2 and dealing with the painfully sadistic dungeons that are in that game. My god. Oh. Hopefully this game's nicer. <laughs> hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Yep. Alright, so... let go. I hope we get the pluck phone in this game. I only had the pluck phone for a very small amount of time in Pikmin 2, but god was it amazing. And hey, there's the, the creepy larva things that are awful to fight in, um, Pikmin 2. I hate those things. What? Oh my, what a place to find the captain. That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Quasimofo. The captain comes from a long line of rescue officers going back gen- This is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something! Okay. Oh, da, 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 da. oh no, she's surrounded by creatures. There we go. Yeah, luckily they're a lot easier to fight in this game. Those things eat Pikmin super fast in Pikmin too. Ew, now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. Okay, I can do this. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're alright. Oh, you! I haven't seen you since Ricky training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Cosimofo? Wow, that's rude to call me. Huh. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that Ricky training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd be a top notch dog trainer. 99th generation Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by Rescue Pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. Bum, 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 bum. There we are. We found Captain Shepard. With the captain here, it feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave, trying to find the next it, when I came upon those icky slimy creatures. No. Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Pardon? Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Oh. Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Okay. Copy that. Come on. Something wrong? You didn't say anything, Quasimofo. Copy that, is the Rescue Corps way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together. Copy that. Understood. <laughs> hmm, I'm sure you're just nervous. This is your first official mission, after all. It's all come, it'll all come naturally to you soon enough, don't worry. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential for to our work. Alright. 
god, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look at the, look at the manual. This is where you'll find advice left by captains both past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share here will guide you well. Here we go. The bomb. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. All right, so quite the conundrum. What would you do, Quasimofo? I would break all of these pots, is what I would do. That's just quite a rush. Now I'm good at what I do, what can I say? I remember this area. Yeah, you immediately went over there and walked off a cliff. There, that's where I fell in. My word, I think you survived from a fall that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Don't worry about it. We. Ah. I did it. I really, really did it. Look at that. We we've already made a pretty good amount of progress there. I'm happy with that. Very, very happy. These loading screens do take a hot minute, though. Um, I think I was talking earlier about just the game looks so pretty. I love like games where you're you're like small in a you know big sized world. Basically, it's just so cool. I love the environments and stuff. Excuse me, Quasimofo. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe just don't touch it. Says the person that fell into a mysterious hole with larva monsters in it. Okay. Maybe take your own advice. I completely agree, though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Mm. Alright, Captain. The Rescue Corps flag has officially been planted. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found. No. Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of the cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done, Quasimofo and Oshi. I guess we're just gonna skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. Okay. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you put something new on your- did you do something new to your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course! And good for you, you did it. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Yep. There we are. God, I love that everything's purple. It's very nice. Alright, come on everybody. New stuff in the tablet. Um, Tablet menu? New ID badge. Yeah, I already know about those. Rescue journal. New stuff. You can look around by tilting that and that. Press ZL to look straight ahead in a snap. Remember, you must always remain vigilant. Rescue pup to do a rush. Yeah, okay. So, ZL's look ahead. Good to know. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? Did you not notice this before you left? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. I believe in you, Colin. Status reports! Uh, upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. And that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Oh no, will it be okay? Can you go? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. <laughs> so we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. <laughs> Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. What do we got? Bing. Voyage log. I found treasure. After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Cool. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparklium from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real life treasures. I'm skeptical, but at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. 
Copy that. Bum, 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 bum. Apparently sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so we can restart the SS Shepherd. Well, hey. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. No, For that, we can use the SS Beagle. I love that everything's dog themed. I hope they release a DLC for this game where it's all cat-themed. We just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? Well, that's where the onion goes. Don't you know? It's so shiny. It looks like it lit up when you got near it. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. Looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. There's the beagle. Bork bork. SS Beagle repositioning successful. Good. Our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Ready. Let's go. See anything sparkly around here? Yeah, right there. Is this what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Let's look at the, just look at the way it sparkles. Check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. All right, rookie. Press plus to open the radar map. Yes. Ding. It is indeed. Presence of Sparklium confirmed. That uh, star in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Cool. Bye. Excellent work. I'm going to take this as an auspicious start as a good sign. Or take this auspicious start as a good sign. But um, how are we gonna move it? Why, Ochi, of course. Or I don't know. We could carry it. I mean, we could help. You know, so Ochi doesn't have to do it all alone. Excellent. It's on the move. Indeed it is. Boy. That's perfect. Oh, this treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? Gato. The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. Do we get names for stuff still? Seems like no. Yes, energy detected. If we can collect 250 more units of sparklium, we may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. No. But the SS Shepherd's supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? Hey. I believe we can get it to run on sparklium alone, though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Hey. Then we need to search this area for more treasure. All right, new treasure collected. So, is that get added into like my tablet or whatever? Missions? Doesn't look like it does. Voyage log. This is Captain Olimar, currently stranded on an unknown planet in the far reaches of space. I'm in dire need of assistance. Please send help as fast as you can. For those wondering, I do give Olimar a Zap Brannigan voice because, I don't know, I feel like it fits Olimar. All right, so what are we doing here? I think there's a treasure. Yep, there's one right there. We saw that when we were coming in. Ah, there we go. There's an onion. Hello. Wow, wow. What's this? Is it a treasure? No. Go get it, Ochi. Lick, lick, lick. Beautiful. I do like that, like, my... Good job, Ochi. It, it makes the it makes the UI just a little bit loud, but I like that it reminds me of all of my controls here and everything. That's quite nice. Onions like no, I'm not treasure. I'd love the new look for the onions. They look kind of delicious, quite frankly. <laughs> Whereas before they just looked like some kind of weird Easter egg with a flower on top. Huh? It moved. I don't think it's a treasure. No. What could it be? Looks like some kind of plant. Could this be the thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. No, if this is an onion, then what is that sprout? That would be a Pikmin. New voyage log entry. Hello, red Pikmin. Amaru? Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. Oh. Well, then maybe they could help us while we explore and look for the treasure. treasure. 
Oh no, Ochi. Look at that. Ochi's already bonding with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well, Cosimofo. Yeah. And, um, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? Cool. Alright, so, new entries. You can select Pikmin with L and R. Yeah, I know that stuff. Just let me get... Here. Press L and R to select personnel and issue precise orders to your units. Quickly raise your rescue pup, uh... Quickly select your rescue pup by pressing L and R at the same time. Okay, that's interesting. Fascinating creature emerged when I plucked the sprout. I tried to put some distance between us, but it followed me close behind. It seems quite friendly, and it looks similar to a pick pick carrot, my favorite vegetable. I'll call it a Pikmin. I'd barely begun my search when a strange thing reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. It resembles a vegetable on my home planet called an onion. I shall call this an onion too. Its sprout glows and sways as if inviting me to come closer. So yeah, this is like... This is like a redoing, or retelling of Pikmin 1. Because yeah, like, Olimar's acting like he's never seen onions in Pikmin before, but he sent out an SOS to that, which is, uh, to, to the Rescue Corps, which did not happen in the first game, so... That's cool! I, I actually, I actually really like that. That's neato. Uh, okay, so, let's go ahead and throw that. God, hitting pellet posies and stuff. God, having a lock on. So nice. Having a lock on is so nice. No longer do I have to rely on my terrible aim. What? More sprouts! That red seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. What a mysterious life form. Yep. This must be how we get more Pikmin. Yep. God, the pellet posies look very yummy now. Okay. And there's one more pellet posy over here. There we go. Alright, what new stuff's happening in the tablet here? New voyage log? Seed-like thing I harvested from that flower must be some kind of food that propagates more Pikmin. I will call them condensed- these condensed nutrients pellets, and the plant a pellet posy. There we are. So, all of that's done. Unfortunately, we do not have the pluck phone God, it would be nice, but no. No such thing. And I can't hold down A to just continually pick up Pikmin. Whoa, that's a lot of Pikmin. Damn right it is. So hit that. And hit that. There we go. We get more like that. And good. So we have a lot of Pikmin. Good, good, good. I think, uh, so that's a Game Boy SP over there. It's so nice. God, the SP brings back memories. I distinctly remember getting a Game Boy SP because my brother sold... I think I mentioned this in the demo, too. My brother sold my Game Boy Advance randomly. I went to go get it one day to play Pokemon, and I was like, where's my Game Boy SP? And he's like, oh, I sold it. You never played with it. And my mom was like, okay, well, well you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna pay for him to get a new Game Boy. Basically, so... Rush? I'm pressing X. Oh, but, oh it's because I don't have Ochi selected. That's right. God. Yeah. You do have to actually select Ochi. There we go. Watch out, Ochi! Watch out for the Game Boy SP! There we go. That was close. Too close. Game Boy Advance SP, technically, I suppose. Okay, let's transport it to the SS Beagle. And you go too, Ochi. Help. There we are. So... Cool. You two are still with me. And yeah, now we just need to go get that one last thing over there. And that appears to be all that we can do here today. Bam, bada, bam, bada, bam. Good. Okay, so that was worth a pretty good amount. Ah, and there's the various collections that we have. Another treasure collected. I need to keep this up. Because I saw, yeah, like, those are like the collections I can pick like in Pikmin 2. We're almost at 300 units. We've got this. Um, because in Pikmin 2 there's like different collections you can get, and then you would get like a sales pitch for them, because you would be selling them back on Hokotate. Um, so, that's interesting. 
that we have the groupings again as well. So I imagine we'll get more information once we complete an entire set. Because the fork thing had like three, whereas the Game Boy SP had a lot. Huzzah! You two make a fantastic combination, Quasimofo and Ochi. Thanks a bunch. Yes, yes, keep up the good work. The Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Good. Cool. And if I actually get the opportunity to, like, save here. There we go, it's saved. It's cool. Nice. So it actually saved right there, so I think we will end this episode off there. So, uh, yeah. There's our first episode of Pikmin 4. Just as fun as I thought it would be. And I did play the demo, so of course I knew, so... We should be seeing some new stuff next episode, because I didn't get much further than this in the demo. If I recall correctly, so... Yeah, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.